Welcome to Yester Quickies, a speedy culinary trip back in time. Today, we're traveling to 1968 to discover, oh, are you ready? Hot cauliflower with shrimp, not what you're thinking. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. I've got another quickie for you. So hang on, hang on, I got a little show and tell here. Whole heads of cauliflower. Very trendy right now in cooking and restaurants, but I gotta tell you something, they're not new. They're not new at all. Presentation in the 40s, 50s, 60s, having company over for dinner was everything, and we are gonna make this one impressive dish. So let me get this out of the way, and we'll get started. So as you can see, I've got a half a stick of butter, or a quarter cup, already melting in my pot on very low heat. So today's recipe is called hot cauliflower with shrimp, and I know you're probably picturing a stir fry, no way. So this recipe comes to us from, da 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 da, the Women's Day Encyclopedia of Cooking, volume three. I know a lot of you have this series. It's amazing, I absolutely love it. If you don't have it, it's about, I think it's 14 bucks. Highly encourage you to get your hands on it. It is just absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna wind up with is a whole cauliflower, covered in a shrimp sauce. It's, and then you kind of cut it like wedges. It's gonna be amazing, I promise you. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your cauliflower and you wanna cook it just like this and put it on a plate. And then we're gonna put it in a warm oven while we're making the sauce. So let me catch you up and show you how I did this. So here's all you do. I have one beautiful head of cauliflower. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna get rid of these leaves. All you do is ah, Take your very sharp knife, being very careful of your fingers, and you wanna just cut out the green leaves, all of them, because you don't wanna eat them, and we wanna cut down this stem so it'll lie flat, so it'll be a lot easier when all the leaves are gone. So as you can see, our leaves are now gone. Whoop, come here, you. Now all you're gonna do, here is the stem. You just wanna cut it so it's gonna be, so it's gonna be flat. So you just cut that stem right off. There you go. That's it. Now it's gonna sit flat. Look how cute it is. So here's my pot, and as you can see on the inside, I have boiling water, which is exactly what you want. Whoops, sorry about that little crash there. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our beautiful cauliflower. Now you don't wanna burn your hands, so I always use this big spoon as a base. You just kinda of touch it on the top, just like that, and lower it in. That's it. Now, our little cauliflower, is gonna cook for between 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, how do you know when it's done? This is easy, ready? Take your trusty knife, and you can, if it's no resistance, it's done. But after 10, if it, check it after 10. If it needs to go a little bit more, check it after five. But then you should be done. We're gonna take our cauliflower, we're gonna put it on a big, beautiful plate, and we're just gonna let it hang out while we make our sauce. Okay, so as I said, here in my trusty little pot, I have a half a stick of butter that is now melted and I've got it on a low heat because we're gonna make a cream sauce. We're gonna make an amazing cream sauce. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna stir in a quarter cup of flour. So in it goes. And what I like to do is use a whisk because that way it gets incorporated super duper well because you want all those little flour grains just to get happy with the butter and make like a little paste like that. Oh, see I missed some. There we go. All right, now we're still gonna hang on to our whisk because you know when we're working with a roux, which is what this is, flour, equal parts flour and fat for thickening, like we've talked about before, you wanna use a whisk when you incorporate liquid. It just helps so much. So now to this, I have one cup of milk and of course, because we're in retro land, I'm using whole milk and it just tastes better. I mean, if you're gonna make a cream sauce, if you're gonna go make, take the trouble to make a cream sauce, you might as well make the full fat version because a low fat cream sauce, it just doesn't taste as good. <laughs> and to that, in comes one cup, your choice of either half and half or a cream, heavy cream. And of course, I went heavy cream, and one of the main reasons I went heavy cream is because we're gonna need another half a cup. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it on low, we're gonna stir pretty constantly. You don't wanna walk away from it, but you don't have to do it nonstop, but you do wanna do it pretty regularly until it thickens. So we will be back when we have a thickened sauce. Okay, check it out. Our cream sauce is thick. 
Our cream sauce is smooth and our cream sauce is beautiful. So what I did was I did turn the heat just a little bit up to get it going because the milk and the cream were cold, but then I brought it down because you just don't want that cream to burn and you don't want it to burn on the bottom of the pan, which is exactly why you want a low heat. Okay, so now that we have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cream sauce that's super, oh, look at that, thick. We are gonna add, very simply, a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Now I will tell you, if you have white pepper, use it, because this is technically cauliflower, white cream sauce, shrimp, so um, the original recipe actually asked for white pepper, but I don't have it, and I'm not gonna go buy it for a half a teaspoon. If you happen to have it, use it. If not, these beautiful flecks of pepper actually look really nice. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, now to that, you ready? It gets better, it gets better. Now you want your heat super low. I have here, a half a cup of heavy cream. See the other half a cup that I've whipped. Now we've whipped cream so many times I wasn't gonna show you, but if you wanna see how to whip cream, I'll throw a couple videos up there so you can get the tutorial. Okay, so, you ready? In it goes. And all you're gonna do, ah, come here you, is fold it. You know what folding is, right? And actually, give me a second, cause I'm gonna get this off the fire. Okay, got it off the fire because you really don't want to keep it cooking. You are done cooking. So now we're going to take this cream and we're going to fold it in. You remember how to fold, right? You just kind of gently come up from the bottom and get everything incorporated just like that because you don't want to break all the air that you put in the whipped cream that you did all the work for. So now, as you can see, we've got this insane sauce, which is why you don't want to go with non-fat milk. I mean, if you're going to do this, do it right. All right, and the last thing we have is two cups of cooked shrimp, all chopped. And that's gonna go in here as well. And we're just gonna cook it, not gonna cook it, we're gonna stir it until it's just warm through. And it's going everywhere, which is totally fine. And the only other thing we have that we're not just gonna use yet is we have 12 extra shrimp that I took the tails off because that's what they did. And we're gonna put those aside. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish, take two minutes and stir this and then we'll be right back when it's all incorporated and we are gonna put this gorgeous, gorgeous dish together. Okay, our pretty little cauliflower is on a gorgeous plate, ready for company. So check this out. Here is my sauce. Oh, you might have to stir it for a few minutes to get everything incorporated, but don't worry, it'll work out just fine. And now the reason it's so thick is so it stays on instead of you know having a pile of sauce. And I'm actually gonna bring in a ladle, but I really don't think I'm gonna need it. We're just gonna pour Oh, look at that. All this glorious sauce. See, and you thought just a whole cauliflower was something new. <laughs> now, yeah, this is probably has a calorie or two, but I gotta tell you, once in a while, it's spectacular. Okay, now we take our cute little shrimp and we just kind of put them around all going the same direction. You wanna make them happy. And then the last thing we're gonna do is something very, 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 oh, 50s, 60s. And that would be, well, oh, hold on, let me finish this really quick. We're almost done. There we go. A little sprinkle of paprika, just for color. And there you have it. Hot cauliflower shrimp this is so perfect for entertaining. As a matter of fact, see the sauce is staying on the cauliflower. You have extra for dipping, serve it with some bread. You're definitely gonna wanna use the sauce. This would be a perfect dish for the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, and now. So here we are, company perfect. So let's serve this. It's just, we've got a lot going on here. So you're, you're just gonna make a little, like I said before, a little, I don't know, bundt cake, pie wedge, however you wish to call it. And in goes our spatula. I wish I had a pie server. It's packed, sorry. I'm kind of bummed. You know, your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sauce on the side. And there you have it. Hot cauliflower with shrimp. See, I told you, not at all what you would be thinking. And look how beautiful it is on the inside. <laughs> this is awesome. And guys, just forgo the scoop of ice cream and have that. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for stopping by. It's always such an honor to have you join me. Enjoy eating the past, and I will see you in the next video.